happen is uh, it'll be at the Broadmoor up at the Penrose House and the, uh, yeah. they have a golf event in this 100 Club. I gave you a, the uh, paperwork on it because it's a pretty cool club and just gives you a little history on, on the award and what's going on. And when they do the award, every single year they, they, um, they uh, give an award to a firefighter and or police, uh, and police officer, both of them. Firefighter won't be there, so I'm by myself giving my speech. <laughs> but they uh, they host a, a beautiful golf event every single year, and then a dinner and all that kind of stuff. And the chief will come up and say some nice things about me, and then I thank him, and then I, I give the accepted speech. So uh, I'm going to use my notes today, and then I'm hoping to do this again without notes because then I, I also won the American Legion Regional Award with various states, and then I also won the National American Legion Award, so I have to go to Indiana. August for that one, so I better get, I get, I better get moving on my speeches. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Toastmasters. Uh, thank you, Chief, for the kind words that you had to say about me. I'm honored to be here to accept this award, and I want to thank Nicole Magic and the 100 Club for sponsoring such an amazing event year after year and for their never-ending respect and support of first responders. I would also like to thank CSPD's Awards Committee for nominating me for this award and recognizing my work over the years. And of course, Chief, thank you for actually picking me out of the nominations. Being a police officer has always been a calling to me. I remember being in the first grade, going on a field trip to a bank and checking out the surveillance and systems and going, wow, that's how they catch bad guys. Imagine the surveillance systems back then compared to now, right? But I was fascinated back then nonetheless. I also watched Adam-12, Emergency, Hawaii Five-0, and whatnot, grew up in that era, and I loved every single minute of it. In the fifth grade, I was selected to be the bus monitor. I don't know if anybody else knew what that was, but we wore it like a white sash and thing around the waist, and it had a badge. And I got to tell people to sit down in their seats and follow the rules on the bus. So like I said, this was a calling for me to be a police officer. <laughs> I studied criminal justice in college. Uh, I played basketball and I even worked campus safe, safety on midnights. I love midnights, I always have. And again, I later held security jobs before becoming a police officer. I had to borrow 600 bucks from a friend of mine just so I could get to the Pikes Peak Regional Law Enforcement Academy and I paid her back $50 a month. But in 1989, I was fortunate enough to get hired by Colorado Springs Police Department where they paid me to go to their police academy and learn how to be even better as an officer. And Chief Nisky was in my class. We are old, let's say we've been there for 30 years. <laughs> I'm so thankful for the various job opportunities that I've had over the years here at CSPD. Still my all-time favorite has always been patrol. I love being in uniform, driving my cruiser, responding to help people in their time of need, and of course, I love catching bad guys. <laughs> As a matter of fact, even as a lieutenant, I still work extra duty assignments, so I get to wear the uniform, interact with the public, and serve my community. I've been very blessed by the many people here at CSPD who have provided me guidance, training, and job opportunities along the way. Thank you also to my family and friends who helped with the kids as police work did uh, crazy hours on call status, and you were always a 3 a.m. call away. Can you please come and sleep on the couch while I go to this homicide? So thank you all very much for all the support over the years. Yes, the saying is true. It does take a village to raise a family. There are way too many people to name over the years, so I'm just going to leave it generic at this point. But you all know who you are who have helped me, and I really thank you for your support. In Colorado Springs, we are also so fortunate to have the community support police officers and first responders. The military supports us. We have other organizations such as the 100 Club, Shield 616, American Legion, and many other clubs. And we are thankful and grateful for that. They also remind us that police officers are the good guys and the good gals. And again, that doesn't happen in every community. So to those of you in the audience, thank you very much for your support. I'm proud to say that I've represented Colorado Springs Police Department as an officer, a sergeant, and a lieutenant for over 30 years. I know that I made a difference. I had a lot of fun, and at the same time, I saw stuff that nobody should ever have to see. I have been a supervisor since 1996, and I took care of my employees, giving them uh, proper guidance, and I was also known as being very fair. If I had to ever administer discipline to somebody, it was always, thanks, sorry, I'm sorry, screwed up, that kind of thing, and they, they've apologized for me having to do the work to investigate whatever mistakes they made. But I also 
also learn from my employees as well. And you never stop learning. It seems at times I've forgotten a lot of things because people are like, oh, remember we went on this call or that call, and I don't remember a lot of things. I only wish I'd written a journey. I don't know if it's because I'm old or I've compartmentalized my kid stuff or what's going on, but they always do remember the stupid things you do. Like, hey, remember when you tried to handcuff that one-armed guy? <laughs> the policy said a felony must be handcuffed, so I put the cuff on and like, give me your, oh, hmm. I figure that out. So they always remember that stuff, and unfortunately, I remember some of that stuff. <laughs> I will be retiring in July, and I will, I will miss my fellow brothers and sisters in blue and serving this wonderful community that I've been fortunate to live in and serve with. But no worries. I plan on giving back to my Manitou Springs community by teaching water aerobics and lifeguarding at the local pool, along with Ubering and doing many other things that I'm not quite sure yet what's going to happen there. The influence that I've had on my children and others to serve this community will lead on. My son is a police officer in Arvada, Colorado. My daughter's getting a dual master's in public health and public administration. And there are many boys that I've coached in Manitou Springs, none of the girls were interested, that are now law enforcement officers as well. Thank you again for this award. I'm truly honored. I will miss being an officer, but thank you again for this award.